Alright, here we've got Thunder Flash, been playing in Nintendo Switch. So we've got uh, Stage Select, Arcade, Boss Rush, which is locked, Survival, and Options. We're going to do Arcade mode here. So we're going to do one player under normal. So this game plays very similar to uh, uh, the Car Warriors, uh, Commando, games like that. I'm going to play as Rock here. Rock! Mission 1! Mission! So you've Stop. got the left hand left stick to move your character around. And you've got the A button to fire your weapon. And you have the uh, X button for your rockets. And that's really it. Um, so right off the bat, you can see this is definitely very inspired by games like the Clay Warriors. Um, the game looks really nice. I really like the way the game looks. Um, it plays really well. Uh, I wish that you had um, a means to... Um, I, I, I wish you had a means to continue, but really, if you, if you, uh, lose all your credits, that's, that's really it. You have to go back to the start of the tile screen. Um. But, I mean, other than that, oh. Game's pretty, the uh, game's pretty fun. Um. Again, very heavily inspired by Cory Warriors, which is a game I absolutely love, by the way. For those who haven't played it, it's an arcade game. Also, was released on the NES as well as other consoles. Um, this game's definitely heavily inspired by that, and you can definitely tell. And it definitely plays uh, uh, pays homage to it well. Also, by uh, at the same time being being pretty modern. The game is, I mean, the game can be pretty cheap uh, in, in, the, in the sense that you can sit here and just kind of uh, shoot diagonally uh, in order to kill bosses and things, which, I mean, it, it, it takes it takes the skill, I guess, out of it a little bit. But, uh, I mean, it's still, it's, it's, it's still a challenging game and still definitely worth, worth checking out. So, um, the one thing, besides the fact that you can't continue after the last of your credits is, is used up, um, the only other thing that I, I find is just completely annoying, uh, is the fact that it doesn't fill, well, okay, I take that back. So, I was going to say it doesn't fill the screen. So, on, of course I die. Uh, on a big screen like this, uh, it does fill uh, fill the screen rather well. But on the Switch Lite, the screen is much smaller. I'm not sure why that is. I'm not sure if it's because it's in handheld mode and I'm on the TV. Um, but uh, it's definitely a heck of a lot smaller on the Switch Lite screen, which is a little bit of an a bit, a bit of an annoyance, and I guess more of a of a reason to play. <laughs> play on the on the TV, but um, I mean it is a kind of nitpicky thing. But I wish that it took up more of the of the screen when in, in uh, handheld mode or being played on the uh, Switch Lite. But I like the I like the uh, uh, animation. Oh, I'm dead. Uh, of the of the character portrait kind of reminds me of Doom. <laughs> Oh, I missed. There we go. go. Kind of anime style. I like the fact that it switches between side scrolling and and uh, vertical. And some levels you can actually just kind of skip a lot of these enemies, which is nice. And they'll just walk right by you. <laughs> oh, 
Of course I was gonna die. Why wouldn't I have died? Oh, it's because they have knives, I don't have guns. Okay, that makes sense. Go. Come on. Uh, the levels are kind of long. I mean, we're coming up on the uh, the boss here, and I'll probably end it at the boss because we're probably coming up on. Yeah, we're coming up on five minutes already. Now. I like, I love the, uh, the weapon variety. The flamethrower, uh, this gun here. Um, I wish that your pea shooter of a gun, uh, would, you know, could be a little more powerful. But, I mean, you know, it's, I mean, it's good that you have the other weapons to, to use. And with this right here. You can essentially stand. Well, I have to kill this first. Come on. And then you can stand here, literally just stand here and not get hit at all. And take this boss out. Mission. Yay, complete. mission completed. Mission two. <laughs> and this level's uh, also um, heavily inspired by uh, Cardi Wars, you can definitely tell that. But it's still fun. Uh, again, this game is really a lot of fun. You can play it with two players. Um, I also wish, um, wish I had uh, uh, online co-op, I think it would be really cool. Uh, I understand the reasoning behind why it's not there, but definitely would would have been cool to see that. Heavy machine gun. Here's the pea shooter. Again, it, it, it shouldn't take this long to kill things with this gun. It really shouldn't. Go. It's one of my favorites right here. Because you can kill a lot of enemies pretty quickly. Alrighty, so I'm going to go ahead and end the review here, guys. This has been a look at Thunder Flash on Nintendo Switch. Definitely worth checking out for fans of Akari Warriors, uh, Commandos, and other... Uh, other games of this genre. Uh, I want to thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. As always, till next time, <laughs> take care and happy gaming.